Hi, I'm Russ of Aquarimax Pets. In this video, I share day three of my Arizona trip with Sky Island Adventures. If you haven't seen parts one and two, make sure to catch those as well. I happen to be visiting Arizona during the monsoon season, which is a great time to see a lot of arthropods. However, many species of arthropods do seek shelter during an actual rainstorm, and day three of the trip promised to be very rainy indeed. <laughs> So we're kind of rained out, but Peter has found an innovative solution to this problem. Yeah, Let's he's see. gonna lick it. <laughs> in all seriousness though, Peter kept a close eye on the radar imagery of the area and was keeping an eye out for drier spots so that we could make the most out of the last day of my trip. We headed out to a spot that looked promising, but when we got there it was, despite the state-of-the-art radar projections, raining. And we hopped out of the car anyway to, a couple of times to see what we could see. And I'm really glad we did because we happened upon this Hogna carolinensis. Um, not exactly taking refuge from the rain, but uh, I don't know, scuba diving, sort of. It's in its burrow, but the, the face is, is submerged. The whole spider's submerged. Whoa. It was out a second ago. Uh huh. But then when it saw me coming, it ducked back into its burrow. That's amazing. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. How crazy. It's huge. It, I, I mean, I think it's a hog. Am I right about that? Yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, the Carolina. Yeah. On our way back to Sonoida, I saw something small but distinctive on the side of the road. And Peter obligingly stopped so we could take a closer look. Well, we yeah, just found this, box turtle. this turtle on the road. We're not sure exactly what kind at this point, but something I don't find at home and because it is on the road the protocol for turtle is to help it across the road to in the direction it is going so that it doesn't get hit. So that's what we're gonna do. We talked about what kind of turtle it might have been and I'm not particularly current on turtle taxonomy but Jesse suggested it may have been one of several species of mud turtle that occur in the area and that makes a lot of sense. We're going to wait until the cars pass and then we're going to Take it to the side it was trying to get to. As one Which was the other side of the yes. road. We're very fortunate that we did get this because uh, with these cars going by it, the speed they're going. It would have been yeah. squished. Okay, let's take it. It would have been a little squished, a little bigger. You know, I'm going to actually take him a little further down. Yeah, that's a good idea. Into so the dirt he doesn't here. try to cross again. Yeah. Immediately. <laughs> All right, buddy. You want some soft sand. Give it a name, Jesse. Morla. His name is Morla. Encountering a turtle in the wild was more exciting for me than you might expect, as there is only one native tortoise species in my home state, though there are several introduced species of turtle. So I have only ever helped one other turtle across the road in all my years of herping. Before I move on to the rest of day three, I want to take a moment to thank my patrons at Patreon. You help me share more about what I know and what I'm always learning about the fabulous creatures of this world, whether they live in an aquarium, a vivarium, or in the wild. You can help for as little as a dollar a month, and while that may not seem like a lot, it does add up and makes a real difference in the videos that I can create. If you'd like to participate, please click the link at the end of the video or in the description. And now, Back to day three of my Arizona adventure. With so much rain in the area, Peter suggested we head towards Tucson, where reports indicated that it was quite a bit drier. On our way, though it was cloudy and the ground was quite damp everywhere we stopped, the rain was much lighter and there were times and places where it was not raining at all. Much of this area was good habitat for the Choya cactus, but this area also contained a lot of the iconic saguaro cacti as well. Where are we? I don't know where are we. <laughs> I was asleep in the car, so I have no idea where we are. Okay. John, you're our navigator. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know where we are because John was navigating. Hey. Okay. Sleep. Well, we're near that, behind us is Peak Pikachu Peak. That's right? right. I had always wanted to explore this sort of habitat, and even though it was much damper than usual, we did see some pretty amazing things. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. Oh, look how big that is. Red Velvet Mite is the name, right? Oh, that is 
so cool. Come up when it rains. This is probably the smallest cactus longhorn I've ever seen, but the first one I've ever found by myself. It's a bitty. It's oh, the cutest go. one. We traveled to lots of different areas covering a lot of ground, and as it got dark, some other creatures began to show up. We expected to see a lot of tenebrionid beetles, and we did see a few, but the damp and relatively cool weather seemed to discourage them from appearing in the great numbers that we expected to see. We did see this mammal, though. It's running out the other side. It does have gigantic eyes, isn't it? And some pretty great amphibians. Oh, well. See you later, bud. Oh, a green toad. Ooh, kind of big. Lakey. Very, very much. Look at him go. Look at him go. Mm -hmm. A little but Yeah, I guess it's just his pupils are big because he's in the dark. He was in the dark. This, I think, is that super rare one that it's Aaron's favorite. Oh, is that the one? Well, the, either uh, that or it's the capture. They're, they're a little hard to tell apart. All right, we've got two amphibians for you, that green one's not one I've seen before. No, I've, I've never seen that. It's a new one for me. We had it on good authority that we were in a good area to see Orthoporus species millipedes as well as giant desert hairy scorpions. Though there weren't any millipedes in evidence on that particular day, I did see several small scorpions, some of which were truly minuscule. This scorpion is so minuscule. I don't even know. I'll show you how tiny it is. Um, it's less the. It's probably about half an inch long, or maybe a little bit longer than that. Really tiny. It's kind of a dramatic difference between. Light with no UV and with UV really makes a big difference in spotting them. So right between these big barrel cacti, which is a little hard to see, is a little scorpion nestled down below. The moon was still nearly full. And bright moonlight can apparently discourage the giant desert hairy scorpions from full activity. On the other hand, the cloud cover did dim the moonlight considerably. Even so, it was getting late, and I was to leave the next morning and we hadn't seen a single desert hairy scorpion. So, heading back, we were within sight of the car. I was hanging back about 30 feet or so behind the others, and I was just sweeping under the Palo Verde trees and the other brush with my UV flashlight. Just as the others had nearly reached the car, I cried out, I found a desert hairy! Okay, guys. I, see it from here. I really wanted to see a desert hairy scorpion. Yeah, that's a beast. And oh, we found one. Yeah, that's 100% a desert hairy. That's awesome. Here you go, man. Find of the night. Wow, wow that, that is, is a, a big one. A big scorpion and it's completely out of the burrow and everything that's awesome yeah i wonder where its burrow is yeah it doesn't seem to be particularly near any that's like such a really cool translucent yellow yeah that's pretty gorgeous i wonder if i can i don't even have my headlamp on to focus on it i can turn this off and... here I'll put my hand next to it for a size reference. Okay, let's do so that. I really understand how big these things Definitely actually the biggest are. scorpion I've seen in my whole... They can like right lift here. up their entire body too when they want to... Oh, let's go. Take a... Here, let me get in there. I'm going to pull it out. Before it's too late. Oh, you got it. There we go. There we go. Look at there. There's his posture. Oh, I got to get this stance. That is... Whoa. Fairly defensive scorpion there, isn't it? Yeah. 
Oh, that's beautiful. Can you get a shot? Do you need me to move out of the way? No, now? you're good. You are. Hadrurus arizonensis with uh, just normal lights, and here comes the black light. Bing! That is, uh, that's just amazing every time. It is. It never gets old. It doesn't. It does not get old. That is so cool. We were giving up on seeing one, Russ. Yeah, yeah that is amazing. With the hat at the last minute. Largest, <laughs> this is the largest scorpion in the U.S., isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that is fantastic. Big Bertha. That's amazing. Yeah. You were you were out there. You wanted it. You you found that desert hairy scorpion in in the last few minutes on the last little uh, leg of uh, that. Uh, last evening, which was really cool to see because the rest of us had kind of given up on uh, Finding one for you and you you left that black light on until the very last minute and made it happen <laughs> so That was cool. I have to say I Couldn't have asked for a better conclusion to my Sky Island adventure Thank you so much again for inviting me Peter. This trip was a dream come true. That's not an exaggeration at all. If you haven't seen day one and two, make sure not to miss them. Out of my three-day adventure, what was your favorite part? Thanks for watching, everyone. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets and adventures out in the wild. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell and choose notifications all so you don't miss my next video. Yeah. These dead ones, uh -huh. they will attach to your shoes and they are very difficult to get off. I can imagine. Yeah, I'll be. They, they really are. And it's we like, don't even care. Yeah, it was, it was the part that uh, that care. Atreyu says. He's like, but you're going to die. And Both like, of you. We don't care. We've been here for a thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, <laughs>